Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of quick pro tips for using the New Line document camera on a PC like I have here. Uh, and really, the idea is just to, to give you a couple of tips so you can maximize uh, the capabilities of the camera, considering that this is a, a 4K capable camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy on my table here and get it in front of my document. Then I've just got, and my example here is very generic, but I've got just the good old Windows camera program up and going, and it's perfectly fine for, uh, for this example. But a couple of things that we want to do to ensure that we're getting the most out of the document camera is, and, and this is something that's gonna vary uh, from software to software. Not all software that you use is going to support 4K resolution. So that's just something to know going in. But I'll show you a couple of examples here. So if I go into settings, which in this case, this little gear button here in the corner, and it's gonna give me options for photos and videos. Now you can see in my photo section here, it's actually set up to uh, take photos at 1080, which you know actually would be okay, but again, I've got a 4K camera. Is it capable of giving me that resolution? And as a matter of fact, yeah, if I go to eight megapixel, then I can absolutely uh, take photos in 4K. And you can see it's adjusting the focus as it, uh, as it redoes that. I can also do the same thing in video. Now here's an example. Remember I said that not all programs will support 4K. So here again, I'm at 1080. Can I go higher? No, in this case, as a matter of fact, I'm not gonna be able to go higher. Um, 1080 is going to be about the best I can do here, which is fine. Um, but also, another pro tip to make sure that when you're doing videos, in an effort to reduce the flicker that can happen when you have a camera solution and you've got fluorescent lights going, see this flicker reduction right here? And again, it varies from software to software in terms of whether it's there and how it's going to be labeled. But if you have the option of using flicker reduction, the default setting would probably be 60 hertz. Where you want to put it is put it at 50, and that will help reduce flicker when you are using uh, or when you're looking to do video. So those are a couple of quick pro tips for getting the most out of your camera. Just making sure that the settings in your software, uh, the, the software that you're using, are going to be set to maximize the resolution that the camera is capable of delivering.